Duplicate code sucks. Here's an example. Imagine that you want to create four very similar bar charts. Basically, it's the same bar chart, just using a different data set and a different variable each time. When you're coding this, please don't copy and paste the code from the first bar chart over and over and replace the variables that need to be changed. I know that we all love to type R code, but this is not the way to create robust code. If you want to change something at the end, and believe me this will happen, then you will have to change it over and over again. And this is really prone to error because it's almost guaranteed that you'll forget to change stuff. So a better way is to extract the underlying code logic and put it into a function. In our case this is not trivial because ggplot uses a lot of unquoted variable. You see, if I drop this into a function, I will get an error because R has no idea that manufacturer refers to a column inside of the dataset when you call the function. To fix that, you have to use the curly curly operator, then you can just use this function over and over using a different dataset and a different variable. Look how your code is much more concise now compared to the previous code. But in this bar chart the bars are not sorted. Let's put this into a function too. This works the same way as before. Everywhere where we want to use our variable, we just use it with it being wrapped in curly curly brackets. But you have to watch out here. Whenever you assign a new variable and mutate using the variable that is in curly curly brackets, you have to add a colon to the equals sign. Perfect, our function creates sorted bar charts now. Let's do some more advanced stuff. For example, maybe in some plots you want to have a different font size or you want to use a different base family. Instead of hard coding these things in theme minimal, we can use the dot 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 operator. This is just R's version of taking something and pushing it somewhere else. We should take bikini bottom and push it somewhere else. And in this case, everything that is not either the first or second variable will be passed to theme minimal. So we could use this to have a larger base size and a different font. Alright, you've learned a couple of R's advanced concepts that help you to write better functions and to avoid duplicate code. But our bar charts are not ideal. If you want to learn more on how to improve them, check out my latest videos on great bar charts. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.